Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of my channel RG Innovations, where we get to learn new electronics ideas every day. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button and select all to get all notifications of my future video uploads. In my previous video, I have discussed about AND gate and I have shown a demo of two input AND gates. In today's video, I am not going to discuss about what is AND gate and its description. I will only show a demo with a three input AND gate IC which is 74HC11 or 7411IC. At the very beginning, let us have a look at the truth table of a three input AND gate. You can see a 3 input AND gate symbol looks like this where W, X, Y are input and Z is output Z equal to W, X, Y. This implies the logical multiplication between W, X and Y. So if we look at the truth table where inputs are W, X and Y and output is Z where input is 0, 0, 0, output is 0, input is 0, 0, 1, output is 0. In every cases, unless all the inputs are 1, the output is 0. Only when all the inputs are 1, the output is 1. So this is the truth table of a 3 input AND gate. And now we will have a look at the schematic of 7411 IC. 7411 is a 14 pin IC where pin number 1, 2 input, pin number 13 input, pin number 12 is output for AND gate segment 1. AND gate segment 2 have input pin number 3, 4 and 5 and output is 6. Pin number 7 is a ground pin and segment 3 of the AND gate has input pin number 11, 10, 9 and output is pin number 8. Pin number 14 is positive power supply. Now let us have a look at the circuit diagram. This is the 7411 IC where we have taken segment 2 of the AND gate where pin number 3 is input, pin number 4 is input, pin number 5 is input and pin number 6 is output. We have taken 3 switches A, B and C where these switches will give the input to the IC and we have connected 3 LEDs to these switches. When we press these switches, these LEDs will turn on to indicate the status of the input. When these LEDs glow, the input implies 1 and when these LEDs does not glow, that implies input 0. And we have fed this input to pin number 3, 4 and 5. And we have also grounded pin number 3, 4 and 5 with a 10K pull down resistance. And if we do not put these pull down resistances, the output will fluctuate when there is no input. And we have connected pin number 6 to another LED which will show the output status. When the output is high, it will glow. When the output is low, it will not glow. And we have used a resistance before the LED to limit the current. So this is the circuit diagram. Now let us have a look of the practical implementation of 3 input AND gate. Here is the IC 74LS11 or 7411. This is a triple 3 input AND gate. It has 3 AND gate in it and it is a 14 pin IC, pin number 1 to pin number 7, pin number 8 to pin number 14. And we will use only one segment of the AND gate which is pin number 3, 4, 5 input and pin number 6 output. So let's move on to the prototype of the AND gate circuit. Here we have built the circuit on a breadboard. We have not put the IC yet. We will put the IC later. Let me first show you what is in the circuit. Here are three switches which will act as the input of the IC. This is input A, input B and input C. And these three LEDs are connected with the switch. When we press the switch, the LEDs will turn on. And when we turn off the switch, the LEDs will not glow. So when the LEDs glow, that implements its input 1. And when the LEDs does not glow, it indicates that the input is 0. And here we have connected a red LED that indicates the output when it glows the output is 1 when it does not glow the output is 0. These three are the pull down resistances that we have shown in the circuit and this is the current limiting resistor for the output LED. This is the current limiting resistor for the input LED. Now let's put the IC on the breadboard. We have set the IC. Now we will connect it with the power supply 5 volt power supply. This is plus and this is minus. Initially, we have all the inputs to low state, so the output is also low. Now we will match it with the truth table of the AND gate. So 000 is 0, 001 is 0, 010 is 0, 011 is 0, 100 is 0, 101 is 0, 110 is 0. And 111 is 1. So here we can see when all the inputs are 1, then only the output is high or 1. And when any of the input are 0, the output is 0. So this satisfies the truth table of the AND gate. So this is how an AND gate works. So today up to this, in our next video, we will see another example of an AND gate. 
Till then, bye-bye, take care, have a nice time. Thank you.